everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make this hair padding made from a few socks to make a puff and I will show you how to make a puff too. And instead of using synthetic hair in a hairnet, I'm using some socks. And this only takes 5 minutes to make, so let's get started. So I have 4 socks with me right over here. And it doesn't matter what the color is, but the outside needs to match the color of the hair. And I have these grip rubber things on my socks, but you don't have to have them. I just got them like this. And this is how long the sock is, as you can see right here. And instead of using short socks, you might want to use long socks to make a nice puff. So start by getting your first sock and folding that in half and in half again. Now open your sock and then put the other sock inside and put it till the end. And make sure it's not too puffed up the sock you put in because your hair padding is not going to turn out good. Now you're going to adjust the sock by pulling it, pulling it a little and now do the same to the other sock just like this now put that sock inside like how you did for the other one and just keep on adjusting it so the sock the actual sock doesn't turn out too big but if you want a big one you can but i prefer a little small one and just fluff it up do whatever you want and then do the same with the last one as well and keep on watching to see how I do it and also the amount of socks you need will depend on how long it is and how big it is now once you're done putting all the socks in go to the ends and tuck the ends of the sock inside so you don't have to sew anything, just tuck it under and just stretch up the hair padding and just do what I'm doing over here by pressing it down and adjusting the socks inside so the hair padding is not lumpy. You do not want a lumpy hair padding. And this is how it should somewhat look like. And I'm going to use this on the bottom so the hair padding can stay. Now I'm going to show you how to put this in. So get a section out of the top of the head like this and start from the bottom of the ear so it can go in a straight line. Do this on both of the sides like this evenly. smooth out the hair like this and comb it out. Take your hair padding that you made and put it on top of the head like this and make sure it is even on both sides and press down on it a little. Now take some bobby pins and pin it in place. I like to put two or three bobby pins at the end and one in the middle. Take the hair that you took out from the front and gather all the hair and put that all back. It might look crazy right now, but it's going to get better. So now take your comb and comb all that hair back and put it evenly around the hair padding like this. Smooth everything out and not everything has to go backwards because we're going to pin everything at the end so we'll do that at that time. 
and I'm just smoothing out the pieces from the other side. Go to the back of the head and smooth it, smooth the hair out again and move it back like this. And then just gather the hair like this and make sure you go to the ends of the sock too. Cover any areas that the sock is showing so that you can't see the hair padding underneath. Now take the hair and just scrunch it up a little and take a few bobby pins to pin it in place. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like the new idea. And this is how it looks from the front, the side, and the back. As you can see, this creates a beautiful puff. Bye, I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.